Marius, thanks so much for your time. I mean, when I was preparing for this interview, I was shocked at the number of vehicles that are not insured in South Africa. And this is an opportunity for further growth for Kartrek. Indeed it is, Fifi. 70% um, of vehicles in South Africa are uninsured according to the Automobile Association of South Africa. We believe that uh, it's a function of affordability on the one hand and market sensitization to the insurance products that are available for customers to buy into. CarTrack is in a very, very unique position with a 91% stolen vehicle recovery rate to leverage that recovery rate and provide customers with a fantastic product offering at 9 Rand 99 subject to terms and conditions. Right. And we believe that this is going to change the market um, for the better. What is happening in, in is it South Asia, or in the Asian markets where you're experiencing uh, incredible growth there? What's driving that? So Asia Pacific is a fantastic growth market for us. We have a number of startup operations in that region. Um, we went there about four years ago starting off with, a, with a, an operation in Singapore, and that operation has in four years' time turned to a significantly profitable uh, contributor for the group. Mm. Um, we've got businesses in Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, the United Arab Emirates, and most recently in, in New Zealand. And we see tremendous growth opportunities in all of those jurisdictions, and in particular in countries like Thailand, uh, Indonesia and the Philippines where the vehicle numbers are vastly more than we see in any of the other jurisdictions where we have mature businesses and it presents a significant opportunity for growth for us. Mm -hmm. And what kind of opportunities are you seeing in the rest of the continent? There I saw earnings did come down but you say that in their own currencies your businesses there were profitable. Well so I think it's, I think it's critical to, to, to understand that our African operations are very, very profitable in their own right. Mm -hmm. They continue to generate positive cash flows, even though we're not seeing that growth in subscribers and in the revenue numbers. Africa is also a critical part of our stolen vehicle recovery infrastructure in Africa, particularly in cross-border theft, and it's a critical component of our fleet management business across Pan Af well, in, in the Pan-Africa region. Mm. Um, we see it as, as a strategic investment. Um, we've significantly invested in the management capacity, the distribution capacity, and the operating capacity over the last nine to 12 months, which would be reflected in the, the decline in operating profit in that region. But that investment is likely to yield quite a, quite a significant return over the next 12 to 18 months, or at least we expect it to. Okay, and uh, going forward, I mean, you just did mention off air that you would be speaking with shareholders Cape Town, right? Indeed. You uh -huh. Indeed. So going forward, what message are you delivering uh, to them about the outlook of the company, and particularly your costs, how you intend on reining that in, your expenses? Well, so, so I think that expense management and cost management is at the forefront of what we think about on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. In an annuity-based business such as ourselves, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to leverage economies of scale as your subscriber base increases um, and that really allows you to leverage your, your profit and your earnings to shareholders. We're in a growth phase at the moment mm -hmm. and we see significant opportunities across all of the jurisdictions in which we do business mm -hmm. and we believe that this investment and this continuing investment is going to yield significant results for shareholders in the short to medium term. 